Here's five daily exercises everyone over the age of 60 should do to help to prevent common issues like muscle wasting, hip and knee pain, stooping and falls. This first one's essential. It's not only the best exercise for balance and fall prevention, but it also helps reduce hip and knee pain by strengthening the outer glutes, legs and feet. If you only do one exercise, do this. Simply stand in front of the kitchen sink or rail and alternate balancing on one leg. Be sure to shift your whole body weight over the leg you're on and build up to 20 to 30 second single leg stands on each leg daily. If you find it a bit hard, start on two feet with one foot in front of the other. Or if it's a bit easy, shift your body weight around a little bit to make it more challenging. Next we do something that improves leg circulation, strengthens the calves for walking up and down inclines, and helps us to lift our toes more as we walk to avoid stumbling. In front of a rail or a kitchen sink again, lift both heels up high, slowly lower down over four seconds, and then lift both toes up. Make sure you hold onto the rail as you lift your toes to avoid falling back, and repeat until you feel a light fatigue every second day. If it's a bit hard, you can use your arms a bit to help lift yourself up. Or if it's easy, try doing a few or all of the reps on one leg and then the other. A lot of us become stooped as we age. And this not only makes us feel stiff and old, but it predisposes us to shoulder problems and it brings our center of gravity forward, increasing the chance of stumbling. So we work on that next. Sitting with your hands on your knees, Angle your torso forward slightly, protrude your chest, and pull your shoulders back to flatten out your mid-back. Then tuck your chin down a bit and pull your head straight back. Hold it there for a few seconds, then allow your head to come forward again and repeat 10 to 15 times once a day. This next one strengthens crucial muscles for mobility and makes getting up and down from a chair a lot easier. It also helps to reduce muscle wasting or sarcopenia as it's known in the lower body, which is a major cause of problems as we get older. Sitting at the front of a firm chair with both feet and knees shoulder width apart, tilt your torso forward, stand up and push your pelvis forward completely to fully straighten up. This gets your glutes firing. Then sit down again, but slowly over four seconds. Do that until light fatigue every second day. If this is a bit hard, you can use your hands on your knees or armrests to help. And you can put some folded up towels on the seat to raise it slightly. If it's easy, hover over the seat, but don't sit down completely before rising back up again. Okay, we've done a lot for the lower body, so now we're gonna do a little bit for the upper body and core. This exercise is great for shoulder health, improving your posture if you keep your chin in, and reducing muscle wasting in the upper body. Stand on a non-slip floor, arm distance from a wall, with your hands at shoulder height, a little bit over shoulder width apart, and your hands slightly turned in at the top. Then, with your whole body straight and your chin tucked in, lower yourself slowly towards the wall over four seconds. Exhale as you go, avoid hunching your shoulders, and keep your stomach muscles tight so that your pelvis doesn't sag towards the wall. Then push yourself back to the start again and repeat until light fatigue every second day. If you find this hard, you can move closer to the wall. If it's easy, you can step back further from the wall, or you can do it on a kitchen bench or a rail. To finish, put your hands on your head, pull your elbows back and down, and squeeze your shoulder blades together 10 times, so that we're using the muscles that go the other way too. All right, there you go. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing because it always really helps. And let me know how you go in the comment section below. Okay, cheers.